Okay, it's been a few days, uh, quite a few days, uh, since I last played. Last week was a little busy with work, and since I ran out of bandwidth not too long before the end of the month, I uh, didn't bother recording anything else because I can't uh, upload any of what I already have recorded until tomorrow. Uh, last time I reviewed the video, I was going to go for this one because I was going to get the map piece and see what that did in regards to this one where I need to find map pieces to clear the dungeons. So let's just get into that. Argo, uh, Incinerator is new. I don't have any experience in it yet. Don't know what it's like as a weapon. Love the Frostbow. But if I have to choose between Incinerator and Spirit Branch, I might try out the Incinerator. Uh, Frostbow over the Blunderbuss, Freezing Hail. Uh, I think, yeah, I've already got a level in Falcon Wings and Red Crystal, 20% of my health. That's actually not very much for only three charges, so I think I'm going to go to this. There have been a few updates to the game since I last played. So, uh, weapons balanced, rebalanced, uh, perks added. Actually, I think they may have added two new pieces of equipment uh, since the last time I played. So, not sure what those are going to be like. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, not very powerful as far as that. Ooh. This is not a very strong one. Or everything that I'm fighting is resistant to fire, but that doesn't make very much sense because that was a carrot. Carrots are weak. Oh, that's it. Yeah, those stone guys, they always kind of hurt. Oh, yay, a burny thing. <laughs> oh, they spit. Flaming skulls. That's it. I fought all those things. I didn't even level up. Uh, boss room. Coins? Coins. No. Alchemy mana. Alright. That's a much better trade. A curse! Yay! I hate that aspect of, of prayer rooms. Get one of those, give up a ton of my alchemy mana and I get absolutely like the, there are some of these that have a benefit and a drawback but the ones that are just a drawback are just kind of meh yeah this uh this wand just really weak I don't even think 10% damage would really help with it it's just super weak Uh, I did figure out what curse does. You take more damage, you deal less. So, uh, yeah. Don't want to get hit by that stuff. Come on, we're off. There we go. Also, uh, Stuff was disappearing on me a lot, I noticed. I wasn't doing a very good job of picking it up, so I've decided I'm going to do that more. Uh, one of the things that they did is they actually listed how much stuff gives you. Like, uh, earn a spell, new one will deal plus 10% damage. I might get Lich Breath for this, which would be awesome. Uh, one thing that I do question about Inner Wisdom is if I get this two times in a row, is the 10% increased damage going to be on top of its base damage, or does that stack? Like, if I, if I get Inner Wisdom on this and I get Lich Breath, Lich Breath will do 10% more damage. But if I then get the spell I have now, will it do 10% more damage than it does now, or will it do 20% more damage because I've gotten Inner Wisdom twice? I, I don't really want to play with that. So I'm going to do this one because uh, it gives me a little more longevity. And uh, th there was another thing that I was thinking about the other day. I haven't really explored the main menu enough to say one way or another. Is this a coin one? Or is it... Oh. Is it the same one and I just... 
it resets itself. Interesting. Um, I haven't played too much with the main menu, but in the original Ziggurat there was a survival mode. I don't think it was available from the start, I think you had to unlock it. So maybe I have to like complete the main storyline or something. Um, that makes my alchemy weapon stronger, so I don't think I care at the moment. I really like my alchemy weapon, but I never remembered to use the abilities anyways. How more are these guys? Yay! And I'm out of alchemy mana. Okay. There we go. Oh. Ugly mana. I will uh I will accept. God damn it. Oh hey, I actually hit him. Now head back up there for that man before it disappears. Oh, okay. Point, even better. Now, this one would probably be really good against enemies that are weak to fire. There aren't very many of them that I've seen. I've seen a number of them that uh, are resistant to curse or resistant to poison. I haven't seen very many that are weak specifically to fire, including the ice ones. Oh, uh, this is all hurting. That curse that took half my current health is not doing me very well. There we go. I knew there was XP somewhere. <laughs> you know what? Prime location. Okay. Another thing that I don't know about this shield, um, they did say in one of the updates that they made black market give more shield. I think the difference between barrier and shield is I believe shield regenerates and barrier does not. So... This one requires me to be below 35% health, and it does scale, so the lower your health, the more damage you deal, so it'll be significantly more powerful as you go up, but eight points of shield that regenerates is basically regenerating health, I think. But I lose one of my weapons. And it's not going to be the wand, I don't think. Yep, I lost my frost ball. Okay. Get some XP. I've also completely given up on smashing things. Be oh, no, 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 no. Give me that back. <laughs> uh -huh. Useless room. Defeat all the enemies. My current loadout is not conducive to survival. Okay, these should be weak to fire. They're not. Uh, at least it sets them on fire. It seems to be a random chance. Uh, I'd kind of prefer it if it was like, you know, building a fire in real life. You provide enough heat. Ouch! Work. Provide enough heat and they get ignited. Plus, random chance. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. But uh, the fact that you can go through an entire enemy's health bar without them getting set on fire once when going like that should work. Ow. Alright, so how long do I have to stay undamaged? Okay, my shield is regenerating. So that's not bad. If I wanted to run around, that's good to know. If I wanted to run around with, like, just a wand, I could sacrifice all my other weapons and have multiple hits of shield. 
that all regenerates for a pretty significant amount of extra recoverable health. Okay, random amount of cool increase and lower usage, increase fire rate by 5%. I still think Spellslinger is specifically for spells because I kind of remember, um, what is it, Staff Specialist or something like that, which has a different icon and also increases your fire rate. This one is interesting in that it gives me extra wand mana, and I do have a spell, so this would be useful. But that increased alchemy. Of course it did. Okay, nothing over there. And leave. Got here. Oh, joy. More enemies. Oh, arcane. That's one of the ones that shoots out all the little uh, gobbets of purple stuff. And I don't mean the uh, purple globs that curse you. I mean, like, uh, in, in one of the previous runs, I got... Uh, yeah, take that. In one of the previous runs, I had a, I think it was one of the zombies that was just shooting out random bolts of energy. Where are you? There you are. Ouch. Okay, no level. Hoo-hoo. But at least my shielding is there. I'm going to spend more effort on acquiring shielding in the future because obviously it is better than I was expecting. And uh, one of their balances made it so that they increased, I, I think they increased the amount of shielding you get on Black Market. Um, have no idea how much it was originally, but they said that they made it more, uh, more attractive or something like that. And so I'm guessing, since you're still giving up a weapon, that they just gave you more. Okay. Please don't be an amulet. God damn. You know what? Uh. Eh. <laughs> well, actually, I uh, I should use that again. Two, one. There we go. Now we're ready. And... Boss room is all that's left. Yay! I get to fight the boss with uh, this absolutely <laughs> terrible wand. <sighs> and this spell. Uh, yes, it's the poison guy so I can use a hero. Go back to this because at least it shoots fast and he's on fire. Okay, bring out enemies. Not that button, this button. What I don't know is uh, whether or not this is going to be the final level or if I still have one. Now, uh, what I was trying to say earlier kind of ties into one of my earlier observations with the amulets being charged instead of recovering based on killing enemies and I don't know if this is something that the developers have considered which I imagine they have I mean they've made a couple of really good games I wouldn't imagine they haven't thought of it 
but in the original game you had the survival mode where it was just waves upon waves upon waves upon waves upon waves of enemies. So far everything that I've seen specs you in a way that may not work well with that game mode. Okay, that, that was the end of it. Victory, because we're not walking through the portal. If you're walking through the portal, you're going to the next floor, whereas this screen is the victory screen. One of the things that they did... Um, ooh, Thunder's Park, yay! Ooh, Amazon Amulet, yay! The free agent quest location run. Incinerator, Mastery, seven coins, yay. Um, supposedly, from this screen, you can level thing. Oh yeah, like that. So I can just click on it and I can level it up here if I care to. It only leveled up once, so I don't think I'm going to put any coins into that. But Thunder Spark shoots an electric pellet and a homing sphere that shocks its target. That could be good because uh, if shocking affects the enemies the way it does me, you can't attack while you're shocked. And fires up your staff for 10 seconds with no mana usage. Okay. If that's what the alchemy one does, that's actually pretty good. Powering it up? Not so useful. But powering it up with no mana usage? That's useful. That's a good tooltip to add. So, uh, what do we have? Weapons, amulets, cannot upgrade Argo or Karina. Argo needs four more. I still haven't gotten the health yet, and then the passive effect. I really want to know what the passive effect is. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Cannot afford any of that any of the wands. Uh, incinerator I could do. Atlantean Spear is nice. Haven't leveled that one up yet. Uh, also, looking at it, you can tell here which ones are leveled up. Uh, amulets, Mana Stone. I can actually find out what the passive effect is. Yoink! Minus 5% mana use. Woo! When some things cost, like, you know, 5 mana, does this even matter? Like, 5% of 5, do you round up? Let's, uh, uh. Okay, I guess I'll have to move towards that one then. And Amazon Amulet, that's the staff. I have Midas. Ah, no mana usage. See, that would have been... I probably would have taken that in the last one, and then I would have kicked myself. But uh, what do we have here? We have the free agent. Wizard le left the Brotherhood before it falls in trouble. If we help her, maybe she will agree to join us, get a new character. Because I got the map piece. Length 2, threat 1, because we are already 17 minutes in. I don't think I'm going to go for a 2 length quest right now. One question that I do have is, if we don't do this, do we lose the map piece? Like, could I go after this 1 length, 1 threat, wand perk? and still be able to go there, or do I then have to get the map piece again? Uh, a spell and a perk, and a spell and a Wow, they're all one length. I'm extremely tempted to go for one of those instead. So, I will stop the video here, almost 20 minutes. Uh, so we will come back, and I think I will actually try one of these spells and see if I can get a new spell, or maybe a wand, but, uh, get one of those eh, you know what i'll go for the character next time so if you enjoyed like comment subscribe and uh we'll see you in the next video